Hello everyone and welcome back for Makerspace. This month we are going to be making our own magnets for the fridge using scrap paper, paint sticks, scissors, magnets, and glue. I'm going to be using Mod Podge but you can also use regular glue or you can use hot glue if you want. Here's a few close-up shots so you can see what the magnets will look like once we're done creating them. And here's the back. So let's get started. In your kits, you'll be getting a piece of scrapbook paper. It'll be double-sided so you can choose which designs you would like your magnets to have. The first thing I'm going to do is start by spreading the glue onto the paint stick. I put it on the paint stick instead of the paper so that I can position the paper however I like and I can reposition it if I need to without glue getting everywhere from the paper moving. When you go to lay down your paper, you want to make sure that there is enough paper on either side of the paint stick to wrap around to the back so you can also hide the edges of the paint stick as well and make sure everything is decorated. You want to smooth out any air bubbles caused by the glue so that everything looks very smooth. You can see where some of the edges hang. I'm going to cut off part of that to make the edges very straight so that they're easier to wrap around and make sure they meet up. And so once you've got your paper the way you want it, you want to spread more glue on the back side of the paint stick and wrap the paper around to meet the glue so that the back side is also covered in your scrapbook paper. I also placed some glue on the very edges of the paint stick so that the paper had more spots of glue to grip onto than just the back. Because the edges of the paper are going to be kind of stiff, you probably are going to have to lay down glue a few times depending on what kind of glue that you're using and have to hold the paper down as it dries so that it stays stuck onto the paint stick. So you can see that I didn't leave quite enough paper to cover the whole back of the paint stick, but I'm going to fix that. First, we're going to cut off the extra paper on the sides so that it doesn't overhang from the edge of the paint stick. And then I'm going to take the extra paper that I had trimmed off earlier and cut a strip big enough to cover the paint stick on the back and glue that down on top of it. Once I've got that glued down, I'm going to smooth out any air bubbles and then hold it for a few seconds to let the glue dry and make sure it's in the position that I want it. And once the glue is dry here, we can get started on our magnet. Here's what your magnets are going to look like. They come with some sticky adhesive so you can stick them onto the back of your magnet with no problem. So you're just going to peel them off, stick it onto the magnet, and then peel off the adhesive backing. I also added a little bit of glue onto the paint stick just so I could make sure that it would really stick on nicely. Wow. 
And just like you did with the scrap of paper, I recommend holding the magnet down onto the glue just for a few seconds to make sure that it's really stuck there while the glue dries. And so here are your new magnets for your fridge. I hope you guys enjoyed this month's Makerspace. And don't forget to pick up your craft kits from your library so you can make one as well. See you guys next time.